Hey guys, so I'm back with this next video and this one's going to be about self-love because we tend to have a lack of self-love. We always think about ourselves as a bad person, an unfriendly person, someone not worthy of love. And the saddest part of it all is we would never treat anyone else the way we treat ourselves sometimes. A good way to think about it is you can either be your own best friend or your worst enemy. You can bring yourself up in times of trouble by encouraging yourself and believing in yourself, but you can also do the exact opposite and bring yourself down and say, I can't do this, I give up. We have to learn to be our own best friend because sometimes other people won't be there for us or at least it feels like they aren't and it feels like we need to give up because there's no one around us that can help us through what we're dealing with. But the thing is, if you rely on yourself and you learn to help yourself out and have your own love for yourself, you're never truly alone. So the very first important thing is putting yourself first. And of course, that's not as easy when you're with someone else in a relationship or if you have kids, you do have to take care of other people, but you have to put yourself first because if you are not well, you cannot take care of others. You need to make sure that you're getting your proper sleep, that you're eating well, that you're getting exercise, and if you're taking meds, making sure you're taking those. Because if you don't have those basic things, your emotions and your thoughts will all kind of be mushed around and you won't have the peace that you need inside. So when you put yourself first, you have to make sure that you are cutting the toxic people out of your life. And if someone is always making you feel bad and it's just negative for no reason, you should start realizing that and slowly back away from that friendship and making sure that you are putting yourself first and your well-being first. You should also be mindful of your thoughts, feelings, and desires and understanding them. You shouldn't be avoiding them. You should recognize them for what they are. If they are really negative thoughts or even really positive thoughts, Knowing them, recognizing, understanding them, it helps you see that feelings come and go. You are not your feelings. Another thing you are not is what other people say about you. So if others try to put you down, you can choose not to listen to them because you know the kind of person that you are and the people who are closest to you also know the kind of person that you are. Another thing you shouldn't do is compare yourself to others because there are always going to be other people who are better, who seem better off than you, and there are also going to be people who seem worse off than you. And if you're always comparing yourself to others, you might feel down on yourself if you feel like you can't be as good as someone else, or you might put yourself above someone else and say, oh, I'm good enough just because I'm better than that person. You have no personal growth. And of course, another reason that comparing yourself to others does no good is because there's no such thing as a perfect status quo sort of thing. No one's perfect. There is really no ideal personality or even person in general in society. We all think there is and we think we have to fit in and do certain things and kind of crush our own personality and desires and wants and dreams because we want to fit in with everyone else when really everyone's trying to do the same thing and no one really knows what that is. So it's important to embrace your uniqueness and accept yourself. There is something that you can use when you're thinking negative things about yourself or if you made a mistake. It's called the emotional freedom technique and basically what you do is repeat this mantra to yourself. You say, even though I did this or even though I have this problem, I still love myself and I know I made this mistake, but I am still who I am inside and this one event does not define me. So it's important to be kind to yourself, root for yourself, and empathize with yourself because Again, you need to be your own friend, and that's what you would do to someone else. Why wouldn't you do it to yourself? So when you make mistakes, you should be forgiving yourself for them and just remembering 
to try not to do the same thing next time if you regret it. One of the best ways to feel confident about yourself is living intentionally. So that means you live with purpose and reason and you take opportunities and you make opportunities for yourself. If you keep floating through life not really knowing what you're doing, you might feel more worthless. But if you have a purpose and you find a reason to get up every day, whether it be taking care of a pet, seeing your brother, seeing your parents, going to school, getting a job, or any of that stuff, any sort of purpose will help you feel like you're not just getting up because it's another day. And the last thing that I have to remind you guys of is that everyone's going through the same thing. We all have this common humanity where no one's perfect and everyone's vulnerable. No one's completely confident in themselves all the time. Everyone's in the same boat as you. There's no reason to put yourself down because you feel like you don't fit in. Because no one is the same and there really is no perfect way to be. So guys, remember to just be yourself, accept yourself for who you are, and always trying to be your best self and putting yourself out there and just doing the best you can because that's all you can do in the end. So yeah, I'll see you guys later in the next video.